ladies and gentlemen, we are up here in Kenston. Um, it's actually where my parents live, and uh, my grandparents live probably about a mile from them. But we're up here picking up a uh, really big part of uh, our small little race team that's going to be able to put us in the position to travel um, a whole lot uh, farther from home and not just run local races. So. I know first thing everybody's going to say is, what are you doing with the bus? The bus isn't going anywhere. The bus is going to turn into her hauler for the Legends car. That being said, here in a minute, I'll uh, show you guys the new hauler. I'm on the way to get new batteries for it because it's been sitting for a little while. And I'll give you guys the rundown. All right, guys. So uh, I had to take this by and was going to get the AC fixed, but the place was out of Freon and I'd left it there. But... Uh, quick little rundown on it it's a 2000 fl 70 freight liner and it was converted by hold on i get back here and try to read this again united specialties but uh she's a unit i know it's not the fanciest thing in the world but i'm 23 and to make this work is pretty badass um, i got a thank my grandparents for working with me with the payment plan and uh definitely wouldn't be able to do it without them um but uh she's huge for sure got a lift gate at the back two cars up top then you'll have the bottom as your garage or whatnot uh got got some little little things to fix here and there like that gotta get that little fixed it's blowing a tire you can see where the fender's been jacked up and uh, all that kind of good stuff but uh she's nice as nice as i i need and uh she hopefully will make the trip down to florida i reckon there used to be duct tape there and she's uh blown down we get home uh for when i get home from work tomorrow i'll uh do a little uh video of the inside of the truck and trailer Get the lift gate make sure it, it's working properly and all still um no reason that it shouldn't be but this thing just cost me a hundred dollars to fill up and my insides hurt now <laughs> but uh we're gonna finish filling her up might have to swipe the card again i don't know if it'll let me or not but we will uh show the inside off probably tomorrow after i get off work and then i'll get this video posted we still got some work to do on the race car but uh, thankfully, I was able to go pick this thing up tonight or today and get her home. But we'll catch y'all tomorrow for the inside hey guys, tour. Jamin came over. He's helping get the toter lined out or the stacker lined out. We're working on this lift gate, getting it uh, evened out and all that kind of good stuff. Um, something's wrong with the generator on the toter itself. Uh, I think it's got a bad breaker, which doesn't matter because I have a gas power generator which we'll use for this weekend and when we plug it into the truck as long as the truck and trailer is still plugged together then it runs everything which is great so uh jamin's up here getting that uh sorted out got heather jamin's wife watching nugget all at school and i am building well i got some done right here building low tires because the top of the stacker is three inches and the top of our cars are a little bit taller than that. And I just want to give us enough space. I hope they're big enough to where the bird cages don't grab the, uh, grab on the ground or anything like that, but we'll find out here shortly and uh, hope for the best. But we're only, you know, going 20 feet or whatever. But uh, then uh, I got to get the pool bar. I ain't showing you all that, that up close, but I uh, got to get the pool bar set up and uh, that'll get the, uh, car where maybe we can hook that 900 horsepower up so Jamin's up here saying he's the king of the world but anyhow gonna get back to work and I'll try to get like a uh, inside view of the toter and the stacker and all that so I can throw that in this video it's just been one heck of a day and I've been non-stop going because I'm trying to get everything done so we can go up to uh, well we're going to Virginia Motor Speedway for Saturday night and then we're going to Potomac on Sunday. Yes, I know we said we're going to Volusia. We've been watching the weather and we made the call today 
to just go ahead and go north instead of south. But uh, anyhow, we're uh, still plugging along and uh, hopefully we'll be ready. All right, guys, so uh, two hours later, maybe, three, four, I, I don't know. It, it's been a while. Jamin's, uh, three hours later. Jamin's been busting his tail and uh, I'm glad he's patient because I would have been all right with just having running lights on the sides. But uh, we got all the lights except the reverse lights working. So uh, we're good to go now and uh, ready to make us a trip up to Virginia and Maryland. So uh, for those that live up there, come out and see us. And uh, I'll give you a little run through on the inside of the toter and the trailer. Starting at the back, sorry the generator's running so y'all can have lights. But uh, start at the back, they got a toolbox, aerial, plenty of storage, more storage, more storage, another toolbox. This controls the uh, lights from underneath the deck. Plenty of tire rack. Uh, this is for your pit lifts to hang on. More storage. I think I'm gonna put fuel jugs under here and I don't know, maybe some miscellaneous stuff there. Air compressor up top, shock racks. Got my pit lights, tire machine. And then got the winch and that's where the cars go. So um, needs, to, needs a lot of cleaning. Uh, it's been sitting for a while. I don't think it was clean before we picked it up or my grandfather picked it up. Um, probably a bunch of uh, county line dirt still in this thing. But we'll go to the tra uh, truck next. Starting from the front going to the back, we got a couch here, excuse Phillips Gator. Um, got a microwave, sink, uh, oven burner thing. See if I can't get these lights to work. <laughs> there we go, a little better. And then uh, got a bunk up there. Need to get some LEDs in here. That AC is blowing cold. TV with no remote, have to replace that. Plenty of storage. Uh, this goes down into a bed. This folds out into a bed. So it'll sleep six there. Caleb will sleep on the floor. Love you, bud. And then you go in here. Sorry for the darkness. Uh, got a bathroom, no toilet, no pooping. I love that sticker. No poops allowed. If you gotta, you gotta poop, you gotta hold it. And then, you know, nice little shower. Because uh, we all know Philip likes getting dirty at the racetrack. But uh, anyhow, um, definitely could use some a uh, little bit of remodeling. I mean, it ain't perfect. Got some tears here on the seat. Just little stuff like that. But nothing that uh, we can't fix. So for you that are wondering how I'm doing the low tires. See if I can get in here real quick without showing anything. So uh, these centers are just steel that were CNC'd and they're actually meant for demolition derby cars. Um, got a little bit of experience doing that, but uh, pretty much just cut the center out of the 14 inch mini spare. It's a 115.70.14 and uh, fellas she's up in the box she's kind of tight on the left side uh had a little little air out of that low tire but she's up here it uh definitely was a lot easier with my my buddy's help thanks jamin welcome and uh got one more to put in here tomorrow and then we'll be headed up to vms 